we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to, you. to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself to take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what one can give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen, I say to you. There are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. We are celebrating as well the memorial of St. Clair. Because today is uh, August 11, and it is his memorial. Over and above, and in the Gospel of St. Clair, Peter said to Jesus, We have given up everything and followed you, what there will be first for us. The same thing with the gospel that is inclusive of Jesus said, whoever follows him will have life everlasting. The two can be combined together as we see in the gospel. Here we have Peter who asked Jesus what we give. We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? You see the beautiful answer of Jesus. It's not only here, but in the later age, that all the sons of God will be there to worship him, will be there to glory in him, because the Son of Man is above all. And if you take it as for our lesson, truly, we follow the Lord. We master him. We have given up everything. And so there will be for us in the new age, as well as in this life, eternal happiness. Because Jesus had decided that whoever follows him, loving his father, mother beyond him, it's not worthy. But rather, when we love Jesus first and foremost, it is the most example of all his commandments. It is the best gauge of what he has given us. Loving Jesus more than father, mother, brothers, and sisters is all that we have. In short, we give him everything. When we say we give him everything, the totality of our life. While we do things, of course, the first aim is to have Jesus, is to let Jesus in. And then the rest would follow Whoever loves his father, mother, brothers, his sister, or children of me for the sake of my name will receive a hundredfold and will inherit, inherit the kingdom of God. I guess the most beautiful thing is the inheritance of the kingdom of God, where we are drawn together, drawn in the gospel, drawn in the language of Christ, and drawn towards him so that whoever believes in him will have life everlasting. So as Peter asked, what shall we have? He gave us the everlasting life in this age and the age to come to ever follow Jesus. There are many still accounts of this, like following the Lord. But here he emphasized the signing of the cross 
in the giving of oneself to him. Whoever follows him is in the cross to suffer, to die, and to renounce everything will be up for the kingdom of God. Whoever follows him more than loving his father and mother, brothers and sisters, is for the kingdom of God. We could not ask for something more. We could not ask for many things. Rather, we follow him as close as we can and as evident as we come. In our lives, we have followed Jesus. Is it the same as the cross? Is it the same as dying for him? Hopefully, yes, in order that our following of him would be truly relevant. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Thank you for telling us the truth. Thank, Thank you, you for telling us the truth. the truth. That anyone who loves you, that that anyone who loves you should, should be above all. That parents and sisters and brothers, parents and brothers, as are secondary to you. You want to follow us in the new age. You want, want to follow us in the new age. Where the Son of Man is seated in glory. Where the Son of Man is seated in glory. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful privilege. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful privilege. We have given up everything. So we have given we up everything, all of ourselves, all of ourselves, in order to follow you. In order to follow you. Many times we have difficulties. Many times we have difficulties, we have difficulties. but all in accord with you. But, but all, all in accord, accord with you. you. Teach us to persevere. Teach us, us to persevere. So that we may reap the harvest of a good life. So that we may reap the harvest of good life. Good life. Amen. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Angel of God. My God, 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 Holy Apostles, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, good evening and good morning. Welcome. Wow, we are nine. <laughs> My codes, Father, Sipon ka. My my cold. <laughs> Galing sa Mindanao. <laughs> Galing sa Davao. We had kasi the cremation at 4.30 a.m. Naging cremation. Opo. Buti nga yun ang sipon ko. Wala na eh. Pakunti-unti na lang. I took nyo, sir. <laughs> okay. Okay. Take care of yourself, father. Yes. Very, mm -mm. Oh, very, very active ka kasi you go places. <laughs> Nagkain ka ka durian, Father, sa Davao? Nagkain din. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Father, ang today's gospel ba? Parang very, very hard to ano, no? To follow. To follow, no? no. Yes. Mm. Take up your cross and follow me. Follow me. Oh, Whoever tapos. loves his father and mother more than me yeah, no, is not oh. worthy of me. Oh. 
It's all about Christ. Christ should be number one. He should be the number one. Mm -hmm. Pero it's so hard, no? It's so hard to follow. I mean, as as human, as we are, no? It's, um, personally, I find it hard ba na loving Jesus? Well, loving Jesus, of course, but more than your father and mother, no? Kasi we love our our parents din eh. Like, like really, really love our parents. Mm -hmm. But I see in that, Tita, the love of God can be summarized into the love of parents. If you love your parents, mother and father, the same thing that you love the Lord. Uh -huh. It's uh, the agony of that. Perhaps we are trying to, but they are of the same level. So if we love them, we love Jesus more. Because by following them, uh, by following them, obeying them, mga ganyan, mm, but especially yes. during our... Ano, our um, when we were still dependent sa kanila ba? Loving them, listening to their advice, obeying, kung ganyan ba? Yeah, and it's the that? same as loving Jesus. Oh. The same oh, as no. being obedient to Jesus. I discovered that one in the uh, daily language of ours. So practically, when we love Jesus more, we love our parents more as well. So there is because no difference, I, pala. <laughs> oh man, kasi kasi um uh, especially yeah. our our generations no, or mga, we love our parents very 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 much, kasi tapos mm -hmm. parang hindi hindi ko magkuan ba na how do we love Jesus more than our parents who all, almost we we can give everything we can give up everything for our parents. So what else, no? What else? Kaya pala, yeah, it's true, no? Loving our parents is equal to loving Jesus also. Yes. So, mm -hmm. The way we give them, it's the way we give Jesus. There's no, ano doon? There's no contrary in loving them. Yeah, no, be father, kung mo alas dosi, ala una, alas dosi, kung ano ko pa na si nanay. Kaya mo, tamo man, your love for mother is for the love of Jesus. Oh, love you. Ako nilang gambag na, nai, please tuturog pa rin, nai, yung gabi, alas dosi, alas, ala una, arna. Amo na lang hindi bosi, kung ito nanay, hinano ko. Holding hands para pa, turog. Aha. It's Jesus, Tita. It's Jesus who is talking to you. Yes, I'm going to do it. It's Jesus. Because si Jesus did not teach us that in a love your you honor thy father and thy mother. Thy mother. Hmm. She did. So. So, ano mo na lang, Tita Helen, na serving your mom or taking care of her is like taking care of Jesus. Yes, precisely. Precisely. Yes, kasi sinis. Challenging. There are different challenges that the Lord is giving us. Sa'yo, challenging yan, Tita. Yeah. Masarap matulog. Oo, masarap matulog yan. Pero you watch them as you watch Jesus. No choice. But that's your choice to Jesus. Yes. When you stay awake, it's your choice to Jesus. I still feel pretty much na makaabot ko na si Nanay sa 100 years old. Yes. Every day, what's your name na? Every day, ako bilog bata mo. Ang mga sa mga mga mo. Pero parang ang anong, hindi ka na ba mag Alzheimer's ko lang pa daw ako. Naliwat-liwat lang yung ano, favorite song na. Tapos, mamemorize na patahan ka bata ang mga utod ko. And the eldest kasi pa daw. Wow. So, that's nice. Oo, kasi sa palibot lang ang mga utod ko. Pero, each has his own one word. Life. Yes. Hindi ko ko busy mo na ko, but nanay is priority. That's why he's 
po ang aking kapit uh, one of volunteer kapit is kasi nag-uwa na ko si Imo I'm still waiting for someone na ma-assist ka na ako nag-uli sa ang kapit nag-bakasyon ko ba? Kung saan ang mabali ko na yung lahat ko pa ka na. Saan din si nanay mo? Ya, sa mga sa kalookan pa doon. Sa kalookan. Bila na ang edad? 91. Ah, 91. Yes, Kung mag-100 years pa, 9 years ka pa magsamaghintay. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. No problem. 91. Bata pa yan. Yes. So, bata pa yan, Tita Helen. Yes, Daniel. Pero... <laughs> Pwede pa yan marihab. <laughs> Ito lang, magulong. Tapos maturog. Kung kuna yung magbagay, ano, makaan, maturog. Kung kuna, hindi lang ayaw magturog. Para maanong also ng ice cream. Bakit may katarak na tirahan ng luso. Ang lakong. Tapos ako, please open your eyes para makita mo kami. Ahay. Ginawa ko rin sa lati ko ulit ko. Hmm. Father, andito sa gospel, Father ba? Apa. Mm-hmm. Um, obtaining wealth or gaining some praises from other people. Um, mm-hmm. Even if you don't do anything, but they they just spontaneously ano, um, praise you, mga ganyan ba? And then, uh-huh. and then you are blessed in real things. Parang uncomfortable kung minsan no, na you, you have you have more than enough of material mm-hmm. things but it's not a sin father no if especially yeah. if you work hard for it no it's not a sin and if the people would give you praise the lord for that say thank you as your own way of praising the lord kasi it should not be contrary nakakagilty ko minsan ba na I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you know, there are things now we are not really in control, but other people would give it. Then say thank you to praise the Lord for that. It should not be a difficulty. Okay. <laughs> Any other question? Bob. What was that? Three days na absence of father. Three days na wala si. Three days na wala si father. Wala tayong question. Yes. <laughs> okay na kayo? Mm-hmm. Okay na siguro. Tapos ma-remember yan nila kung wala ka na. <laughs> Specialist dito, Manny. <laughs> yes. Uh, pag ano, sulat lang ninyo. Uh, kung may, ma- may ma-remember tayo ng question. Apo. Ah, mm-hmm. So... Ay, i-discuss so, ko sa sige, next check. Next ah, sige. Time na next time. Kasi ang, oh, next time na lang, Father. Apa, ah, sige pa. Ah, see you. See you, Father. See you Thank tomorrow. you very much. Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Father. God Get well loves you. Soon. Loves you. Yes, we love you, Father. We love you all. Thank you. The three points. The three pointers for today's gospel. Number one. Jesus challenges us to set our hearts on things that will truly last for all eternity. Number two, a true disciple gladly gives up everything for an ending life of joy and happiness with God. The cross of Christ leads to victory and freedom from sin and death. Number three, What is the cross Jesus challenges you to take up each day? 
are you prepared to lose all for Jesus in order to gain all for him? Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. So uh, the, the most striking no, of, of, of uh, uh, paragraph of this uh, today's gospel no, is uh, um, what, what profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? This is according to Matthew 16. So, so carry your cross and follow me. Yun ang pin, uh, that's that's uh, the most challenging. Um, just like what uh, Father Danny said, ang, ang reflections ni Father Danny is applicable to us talaga in our modern world. So, if we follow Jesus, if we want to follow him, we have to take to take our own cross and follow him. We we have to we have to deny ourselves. I deny natin self denial pa. Self denial tayo. So ang focus natin is Jesus lang, Jesus. But um, but uh, as uh, as uh, what uh, Father Danny said about uh, about our parents, no na nagsabi si Jesus na na if you love your mother or father more than you love me, uh, he doesn't like it. He doesn't. Ayaw ni Jesus ng kanyan. But according to Father Danny, if we honor and love our mother and father, it is like loving Jesus also. If we obey our parents, it's like obeying Jesus. If we love both of them, our parents, it's like loving Jesus. If, if we serve, just like Tita Helen, if we serve our mother or our father, especially kay Tita Helen, um, serving the 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 mother the elderly mother the old old age na yun, it's 91 years old na it's like taking care of jesus yun ang ano it's like taking care of jesus so let's offer everything whatever we do just like kita helen whatever we do do it like you are you are uh, caring for jesus mama Maganda no maganda ang uh, ang uh, parang eye opener sa atin pa na akala akala ko kasi parang parang it's 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 a sin it we are already committing a sin if we love our parents more than Jesus pero on the other hand no sabi ni father no loving our parents is like loving Jesus so wal walang conflict walang conflict Amen. Amen. Ito Manny, do you have something to say? Ah, itong kay Marino, Das Marinias. No? Ha, maganda. It says, what does the cross signify to you? Does it signify hardship or burden? During the time of Jesus, the cross was a sign of judgment and suffering. By saying to the disciples that they have to take up their own cross if they desire to follow him, Jesus was telling them that they have to be ready to be oppressed, ready to face hardships, and ready to be unfairly judged. Many of the disciples took this challenge of Jesus and in so doing, they found the real, the real meaning of life. Many of us seek the life of ease and comfort, thinking this is what life is all about. But life of ease and comfort are not the real essence of life. Could you find your life by living a worldly life? Could you find purpose in this world by living the lifestyle of the rich and famous? Many rich and famous personalities in this world committed suicide because they struggled to find the purpose of their lives. It is only through following Jesus and carrying his cross that we would find a true meaning of our life. Therefore, we have to be ready to carry our cross for us to be called true followers of Jesus. 
Marino das Marinias. Amen. Amen. That's the reality of the cross, no? Anything that makes you, that gives you hardships, troubles, problems, is a cross. Yes. Except, except sin. Huh? Hindi kasamang kasalanan doon. Anything. And many of us try to avoid or try to put away that cross. No? Kasi minsan hindi natin ma-accept it. No? Yung mga paghihirap hindi natin ma-accept. So what do people do? It's here, it mentions it. They either commit suicide just to evade and carrying that cross. But the Lord will never give us a cross that is too heavy for us to carry. And then there's an assurance that if we are, it's hard for us to carry, he's always there to help us carry that cross, make it lighter. Come to me, sabi niya, come to me who you labor and a burden. He's there ready to help us carry that cross. Sometimes we do not understand our crosses. No? Natin, no? Sinasantabi natin. We refuse to accept these crosses. Kasi hindi natin nahihirapan tayo. No? We think that we cannot carry it, but the God is there to help us. Yeah, this gospel really is very uh, it's short, but the M impact is there. No? no person in this world is exempted from those crosses. Walang tao na walang cross. Maski yung mga pinanganak na sabi natin mga may kapansanan, they have their own crosses. Lahat, nobody is exempted. The moment we were born, it's already there because of the uh, sin of our first parents. Evil came into this world. Suffering, death. See? Yeah. Let us try to determine, know what our crosses are. Basta nagpapahirap sa'yo. Cross yun. If it is your daughter, sons, cross mo yun. Could be your wife, could be your husband. But we're not in deny Let's carry it. Because you cannot follow Jesus without the cross. You cannot follow him to Calvary without the cross. And you cannot get to heaven without that cross. Because you know, how can you go to heaven if you deny your crosses? He is only is the only way. There is no other way. He is the only way. So the cross is very uh, important. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Manny. So, let's carry our own cross and follow him. Um, any other, any other um, reflection? 
about today's gospel, beautiful. As usual, very beautiful gospel. Yes, I trust that uh, according to us, we, we are with the first that we carry. We should embrace it. We should not drag or pull it because it will be very heavy and difficult to carry. But if we embrace our cross, uh, Peter, that will be easy for us to carry. Amen. Embrace it. Embrace your cross. It's not a burden. Because most of the time, ang ano natin, basta cross is burden eh. Uh, but if we understand, do we understand why we were given crosses? We would gladly embrace the cross or the crosses given to us. Ang dami. Every day, every day may cross eh. If we, if we open our, our eyes, every day, every single day sa atin, may cross yeah. talaga. Mainitan ka lang, no? Na, na, mainit, 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 kanyan. Cross na yan. Ay, ayoko muna mag, ano, sa, sa church kasi maulan. Yan, gina-challenge ka. Mga, mga kunting bagay ba? Mga, mga kunting bagay na ang dami, ang dami nating mga crosses. Because sacrifice is sacrifice of cross. It's, it's not only cross na, ano, no? We don't have to, we don't, uh, ang, ang mga cross, uh, mga crosses in life na to, no? We don't have to wait for something really, really big na, for example, may mga, ano, dyan na big, big uh, happenings, no? Big sacrifice, big pain, big losses sa life natin. Um, sa everyday life natin, mga lit, little crosses, yun ang, ano, yun ang dapat aware tayo. Like, offer everything to, to God. Kaya nga, very important ang, ang morning prayers. Eh. Mo, morning prayers upon waking up. You, you offer your, your day. Dedicate your day to the Lord. Whatever comes, whatever comes during that day, ni happiness, ni mga cross, mga kung ano-ano dyan. Offer everything to Him. And pray to have, ano, to have more faith and trust Him. And uh, pray, pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Just like itong, itong ano, uh, ito, good example ito. Ang, ang, ang son, ang son ng friend ni Father Danny, na 27 lang, hindi na naka, ano, hindi na naka wake up. Because nabangungod. Yun. Yun ang mga, mga examples. Uh, if he was aware during his lifetime, if he was aware and offer his little crosses every day, sana, and, and sana, sana na ano niya ang mga, 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 mga munting crosses, maliliit na crosses sa life niya, na ma-understand niya sa mga challenges yan na offer niya and gin offer niya sa 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 Lord ang mga crosses in his life and then all of a sudden namatay wala na and also and also sa sa parents sa mga part naman ng parents yun napaka heavy na cross yan 27 27 year old na anak niya nag cardiac arrest Malaking cross yan. Amen. Amen. Let, let's, let's continue praying that God will give us strength to carry our own crosses. Embrace the cross just like what the, um, Tita Helen said. Em, embrace your cross. Offer it. Offer it to, to Him. Because when we have crosses now and we embrace our cross, uh, it means that um, we are uh, ano, uh, we are participating in, in the passion and sufferings of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, Miga Bilen for the closing prayer.
things is, <clears throat> Lord, thank you for bringing us together every day. May we honor one another by keeping an open mind and listen with an open heart all the reflections every day. Our hearts is full of gratitude. Amen. 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 And all together, please, glory be to the Father, to the, Father, to the Son, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit, as it as was in the beginning, beginning now and Spirit. ever shall be, shall be world one. without end. Amen. 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 Amen.